Wine. I'm Joe. <laughs> and I'm Haley. Today we're tasting wine. We have a Cab Franc. Cab Franc. Oh yes. How do you say it? Uh, Sheridan. Boss Sher Block. Sheridan Boss Block from the Yakima Valley. This one we Which were is in Washington. Washington. We were told by a wine professional that we bought it from, given an hour in the decanter. So rather than giving tasting notes up front, we just put it in the decanter. We'll see where it's at. Ooh. Oh, sorry. This wow. thing, this thing right. is obnoxious. My there we go. Yeah, some people have suggested to even decant it for two to three yeah, hours. Yeah, two to three hours. I so. think we're coming up on we're a little over an hour. A little bit over an hour. Yeah, we're a little over. I'm just going to do a light up pour. A little bit over an hour. This is a 2017. So this will be. I've never had a Cab Franc from Washington, from the Yakima Valley, or yeah. just Washington in general. Neither have I. Cab Franc is like literally one of my favorite varietals. I love Cab Franc. So I'm very excited to oh, try this. Oh, wow. The, our guy told us that this is his favorite Cab Franc like, of all time. Really? He yeah, said that? that's what he said. So I was like, all right, we're gonna get it. Man, you got, there's something that sets Cab Franc apart from other uh, noses, but I don't know what it is. I mean, I know this smell, so good. but I'm like, what is exactly that smell? Because to me right now, it's like minerally, like a little bit of earth, but then there's some sort of like fruit in there that I don't know what it is. Yeah, for me, like Cup Franc always has kind of exactly what you said, but it's, it's like stacked in a different order. So like up front, I get some sort of smoke, whether it's like tobacco or like smoked uh, meat. Yes, tobacco This for to me. me is like a little bit like smoked sausage skin. Like mm. not the sausage, but like that skin of the sausage. I feel like that's like incredibly specific and weird. Um, and then I get like a minerality and then kind of like in the back, it's like dark cherry, black cherry, sort of like freshness. I think that's what it is. Maybe it's dark cherries. And I think that's, that's what it is on the smell. I got to try this because oh, this is, I love this is absolutely fantastic. This is 14.1% and it's produced and bottled by. Mm, there's like also another kind of like spice component to it, kind of like serrano pepper. Oh, yum. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh. Is it good? Oh, it's coming around. It's coming around. It has, it's building. Like the flavors, you try them and then they. Oh, they, wow. They kind of build up. Ooh. Right? Doesn't it kind of like lift you up? It kind of builds you up. But it is like that dark cherry, a little bit of that tobacco, some of that minerality, not too much of like the earth that I'm getting, which I do like more of the earth, but that's fine. Like the earth is more on the smell, you know? You know what's on the taste that like for me, I always have like a lot of difficulty identifying? Green bell pepper. You got it that time. Yeah, it is definitely, definitely on there. You know, on that, the taste. that used to be um, like a, a smell that was regarded as like bad. If you had green bell pepper 20 years ago on your wine, you had bad wine. <laughs> but I guess people have come around. I guess it's like a big thing with Bordeaux. I mean, this is a Bordeaux varietal, you know? Yeah. But I, yeah, I haven't. Wow, the smell is I just never, I've never gotten the, the, uh, the green, the green pepper. So I'm still, I'm still on my journey, but. Definitely has minerality. Um, like a little, little, little bit of earth, more like, like twigs rather than like like dried twigs rather than like yeah. earth. Um, and there is still kind of like, I think of it almost as like a fresh, like when you're slicing a fresh jalapeno pepper, it has like that kind of like water substance, like sort of smell to it. Mm. Um, that's kind of like what it tastes like. Yeah, this is, this is a fantastic. I feel like I'm getting deep here. Yeah, this is a fantastic cup <laughs> from. I don't know if this would compete with some of the stuff oh, yeah. from uh, like what, what's the what's the uh, the valley Chenin, you know yeah like Loire Valley Loire Valley in Ch France yeah Chenin stuff like that I don't know if this competes with it but it's in its own I think this is its own category which will become more and more prevalent yeah. in in the Cab Franc wine world because you know they're still they're still figuring out what they're what they grow best in Washington. Yeah, this doesn't taste, it doesn't like taste like that sort of style, but I still think that it's like unique and interesting. Like this is a wine that I would love to just like talk about with yeah. someone for like a really long time. The, thing, the cool thing about this, I think this wine is super balanced. Yeah. 
And so I think with a really balanced wine, I think you get a good amount of age out of this. I think like, I mean, it would be nice to have a case of it and try it every year. But I think if you if we bought like two more bottles, like I would check in in five year, you know, three years, you know, yeah. something like that. And this was a little bit pricey. Yeah, it was a little pricey. It was like sixty bucks. Fifty. Fifty. Fifty bucks. Okay. Yeah. So it was you know. it was fifty bucks, which is which is an insane amount of money for a bottle of wine if you're not into wine. But if you're into wine, you're like, yeah, fifty bucks. I'm about to the evening out, you know. And yeah. Yeah, but. But if you've never had Cup Franc mm -hmm. and you feel like trying like an American version of Cup Franc, I would 4,000% recommend this. Yeah. This is well, so good. Yeah, and Cap Franc is one of those like smaller categories within like the wine. Like there is no, like it's Cabernet, it's Merlot, you know, it's blends. There's like, if you're at the grocery store, like there is no Cap Franc section. Right. You know I mean? Yeah, but, yeah. Cap Franc is definitely like, less in demand than other sort of varietals but Cap Franc does get mixed in with a lot of you know yeah. your red blends oh yeah if you're drinking um, stuff from Bordeaux or red blends yeah you're, you're there's Cap Franc in there yeah but a, a standalone Cap Franc yeah, yeah for sure yeah but I, I love it it's oh my God, it's so really good. you like this one yeah do you put this up there like pretty high I think it's so good I honestly I think it's like really complex um the smell is awesome. I mean, you yeah. know me, I love I the mean, smell. like I said, we're like an hour, maybe an hour, 20 minutes into decanting. I think just like let this go. I would say try it in an hour and then just enjoy it over like two to three hours because it's a thing it's going to keep on going. And, be, and it is. It's still changing. Like I yeah. literally just smelt it right now and was like, oh, but it actually kind of smells like a little bit different. Oh, gosh. This yeah. Is good. I'll leave some, some links to Wine Folly. She does. Uh, she has a video on decanting and how uh, it could totally change wine because that's what this is doing. It's totally changing wine for the better. Mm -hmm. So I'll leave, I'll leave those links down below. But yes, have you ever had Cup Franc from the Yakima Valley from Washington? If you have, I think we really, we honestly really, really need to know more Cup Francs from that region. Yeah. You know, yeah, so I let agree. us know about the Cup Francs from the Yakima and the Willamette Valley. Yes. Willamette is, no, that's, yeah. Yeah, that's Washington. Yeah. Yeah. Anywho's. Make sure you get out there, taste some wine. Let us know you're trying. Let us know you're trying next. Thank Come you out. for watching. And, th wine. and thank you for watching, tasting wine. <laughs> get out there and taste some wine. Haley's here for wine. Let us know what you're trying next. <laughs> Let us know what we should have. Leave a comment down below. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But anywho, we'll see you on the next one. We'll see you on the next one. Yeah. Cheers. Okay. Whoa.